So day eight, I don't even know if that's backwards to you guys. It's backwards to me. <laughs> day eight, almost about to get hit by a car. Be making it do what it do, you know what I'm saying? And doing what it does means we're not gonna stop, we're not gonna quit. Hey, I had to leave and then I came back. Do I have to check in again? Okay, thanks. All right, we in here. It's a Monday night. We're about to get it. The gym is full because it's the beginning of the year. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to the grocery store so that I can prepare my meals for um, prepare my meals so that I can actually be 100% in this. I haven't been able to go, go to the grocery store yet, but we're gonna do that and we're gonna hook it up and let's go. So I'm about to, I'm in the locker room, about to go get my workout in right now. So, holla. All right, so it's day eight of my health and fitness journey. And I did take day, I took eight days before actually going grocery shopping because I had a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, so a major part of, um, again, I'm starting out 96 pounds, 4'11". My metabolism is extremely fast. I mean, I burn calories every day so often. So if I'm not eating a very high calorie caloric diet every day then I lose pounds and I don't really gain any pounds so a part of this journey you know I'm also working out but um, 85-90% of from what I've learned and understand is 85-90% of everything is what I that is that eating you know making sure that I'm eating consistently every day healthily I, I eat healthy um, but making sure that I eat. So, my eating sucks. My discipline to eat sucks. When I'm stressed out, I don't eat. People, A lot of people go the opposite direction. If they're stressed out, they eat a lot. Me, I don't have an appetite. And then there are days when I'm not really stressed out or I'll just go hours, I'll be at work, and I just won't eat. So, I have a really bad... Um, I have a really bad case of I don't eat very well and I eat like a bird and everybody that knows me knows that I don't really eat that much so that's my problem number one so and then number two um, getting back in the gym which it had been a year and so I'm back it's eight days I'm proud of myself I'm excited actually because I'm, I'm feeling very energetic very motivated um, very excited um, it's not gonna be easy but we're gonna we're, we're, we're moving. We're moving. All right. So I just came from the grocery store. As you can see, my Aldi bag, Aldi grocery store, the bomb. I had to plan out. My mind works this way. I had to plan out my meals. I have to know what I'm going to get, what I'm going to eat, how I'm going to eat it, because that's how I work better that way. So in the morning, um, what I want to do is I want to do eggs. I want to do scrambled eggs. I want to do toast and I want to do yogurt. For me, that's a good breakfast. I'm, you know, because um, from what I, I'm learning is that breakfast should be really one of the biggest meals of the day because that's what gets my engine going. It's churning. Um, and then um, my goal is to eat every two to three hours. Um, I'm going to go for two and a half. So once I eat my breakfast, then every two hour, two and a half hours after that, I'm having a snack. So what I've got is I've got fruit and I've got peanuts um, and I've also got a granola bar um, or I can substitute with if I want to do pretzels. But pretzels is really no calories for me. I'm not looking for anything that's like 100 calories or really high diet, um, um, high Hi, you know, in the fact where, you know, it's like, hey, eat this. There's no calories on it. I'm looking for something with really strong protein, something that will stick <laughs> to my bones. So once I eat that snack, then a couple hours later, then there's lunch. 
when I'm packing for my lunch, you know, I've got my turkey sandwich. So I'm doing like bread and a turkey sandwich and I'm pairing this with some more yogurt. So I bought this yogurt. It's 39 cents at Aldi. 39 cents. You got, I got, I bought like 10 of them. So there's like berries. Um, there's two berries here, bl blueberries here, but they have strawberry, they have strawberry banana. It's really good. Um, and then I bought these um greek yogurt protein um what are they called they're granola bars my son actually likes these these are like a dollar and change i it's so good i actually bought these trail mix um things there's eight in there um this is peanuts cranberries and almonds um so i'm gonna add that to like my snack so after lunch i have you know if i do a smoothie um, I add trail mix or, you know, add a banana. And so for me is to make sure that I'm consuming food all day, you know, throughout the day, not all day, you know, and I also have some grapes here, you know, so I'm going to do some, <laughs> I've got my son's little Ninja Turtle snack bags that I think are so cute. I got them from the dollar store. They were a dollar. There's like 25 in them. They're little Ninja Turtle snack bags. My favorite, I'm a Ninja Turtle mom. I will rock a Ninja Turtle every day, all day. I love them. It's okay. Um, I also got these dark chocolate. I hope it's not backwards for you guys because it's backwards for me. I also got these dark chocolate peanut butter protein bars. They're really good. It's 10 grams of protein. It's kind of similar to the, um, oh, I can't remember that brand. Uh, but Kind Bar also has a dark chocolate peanut butter, and there's another brand, and I can't think of it. It's really popular. Can't think of it right now, that actually, but at Aldi, this is like very, it's a lot more inexpensive, and that's why I kind of go with that. So, kind of what I'm doing right now is I'm, prop I'm prepping everything, putting everything, putting my sandwiches together for the next uh, it's Monday, so for the next three or four days, I'm putting all my food together. I've all I have already cooked. Um, I crock pot, which is so easy for me. I throw right now. I bought some. I have salmon in the freezer, but I have a lot of chicken thighs. I did a lot of chicken. So I what I do is I throw my chicken in the crock pot. Whatever spices, um, plus green peppers, onions, whatever you like. Put it in the crock pot, eight hours, it's done. When I wake up, my house is smelling. I mean, it's the easiest, wonderfulest thing ever. Um, and then I do I do brown rice, and which is the brown rice from Aldi. Um, it's delicious. And then I do mixed vegetables, and I do gravy, stuff like that. Um, and I've got salmon, and I'm probably going to do some pasta and stuff like that. But... Yeah, so I'm about to meal prep. For me, meal prepping will probably be a very substantial part of my journey, okay? And so that's where I'm at. Um, I did come from the gym tonight. Yay, day eight. Worked out good, worked out hard. Been hitting the gym real good. So um, again, I put on one pound. I mean, it's not a lot to a lot of people, Um you know, but for me, it's a lot, you know, I think I already see gains in my legs, but I think my mind is playing tricks on me <laughs> because I want to see gains in my legs. But, um, yeah, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling and we're not going to stop. Say good night.